Hi everybody, it's me and I'm here with Juicy and we're going to do a design that I've been feeling. I wanted to do herringbone. So I wanted, okay, so what I wanted to do was like the wool, herringbone, um, all the things that are going to be like coming out for fall. I've noticed that there's textures and wool that are all over the place right now that I am just digging. So um, how you do that is I started with a dark gray color and I'm working with a medium gray on my brush and it's uh, Robin Moses nail art the wand okay so so I'm I'm kind of just feathering it in and this this paint isn't really thin it's kind of thicker and that allows me to get this wispy look and I'm just going in and drawing it like eyebrows kind of like when you do your eyebrows like that and I'm going in V's so it's kind of like a um, a chevron but it doesn't have that stamped it looks perfect look it looks like it's been kind of like fluffy and 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 it's going to take shape in time but right now I'm just going in the up one way like this boom 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 and then the opposite direction like this and that is my goal is to get that stippling look and I'm not going to get it every time because it's very difficult to get that look without um, drawing your brush way, way down. And these are way too small of nails, you know, I mean, just a small area. So then I'm going in with a little bit lighter gray and kind of like dotting into the tops of these so that it looks like I've gone over each one, but really I haven't. And, and I'm just adding some highlights in like that. So, so it looks kind of like the herring bone. It, it's, it's supposed to look like the bone of a herring and, and and it's a classic style and one that you will never regret trying to perfect. I'm going in like this. This was very popular in the 80s and um, the oh gosh it's herringbone and any tweed at all and I noticed that they're, the wool tweeds for this uh, fall are just beautiful. So I'm going to try and do this across all of them. Okay, so here's my palette. I have green and brown. I'm mixing it together here for a dark dark, adding black, and there's silver. And your green is kind of chromey. Chrome green, yeah. It, this is actually a, uh, it's a hollow green, I guess. It, I, I don't know. It's oh, wait, it's called Color Shift. It's by Folk Art. Folk Art makes the best, um, colors that have uh, shine in them. So this one had the shiny, so I bought it, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, I don't know that it really does that, but it looks gorgeous. Anyway, okay, so I'm going in right in this area, and then I'm going to um, push and pull up, push, 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 and pull up. Here is where having the same brush as me is going to be very helpful. And it's because when you are using a different kind of brush than me, you're not going to get the same results because you're not holding it and understanding like how to push it. So, so hopefully people in the description box uh, or the comment section will answer for those of you guys who are wondering. So here's how I'm doing it. The brush is set at like a 45 degree angle and then I push and pull up and then that gives me the point of the leaf. Push and pull up, push, and pull up. Do the lines. And I'm just going to do like a little tendril of leaves around the cuticle of this nail. And then I'm going to go through with black and kind of carve out a way to paint the leaves into this part of the design. And I'm going to go just through this design just haphazardly and, and you don't have to have the leaves perfect. See this is where it's like a shadow in the background and I can even go wherever I think I have too much white or whatever and um, pull it in. On your other hand I did it a little bit lighter. It's mm -hmm. not going to make a difference in the end but um, this is like a dark green gold right here and I have it I have it going across. Do I have it on the other side juice? No. Just, just that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. So okay, so when it's like that, the shadow, then when I go back in with the, the brown green, it's I'm just gonna go in it over the top. It's just gonna show a little more. Um I am digging the the floral over tweed and, and this is gonna be big. So I mean for the for the season, 
my predictions are usually pretty accurate and I think that for this season this is going to be hot so you're going to want some kind of like uh, 3D look so I'm going to go in with black and then just kind of like shadow around that makes the tweed you, you still have the tweed but you have the flowers poppy so, so this is going to make the flower boom then I'm going to take the black here, okay. Move it out, and then and then do some black leaves just to accent the tweed more, like this, like they're in the background. You could do them first if you wanted to, if it's easier. But then around the tweed here, just kind of shadow and pop them again, and shadow. And I'm just going to shadow around in here so that the leaves look 3D. I'm going to do it again on one more. Oops. Not with black, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then push, push. See how that one's darker? Now I can even add another layer of color. Like this, pop, pop, pop. And then pop. Okay, pop. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to brush the leaves across this way. And then I'm going to highlight. So, so I'm doing highlights and then I'm doing backdrops at the same time. So right in here, just like this. They, they dry so fast that there's no. But see, now it's going into the tweed, almost like an, like an applique. And that's what I want. And just very dry brush, very dry. Okay, so here is where it's gonna start looking awesome. So I'm gonna be adding dark red. The red is mixed with black. And I'm just going to mix just little dots of color. This is probably going to intimidate some people, and that's okay. You guys, just as long as you keep rewinding and you keep on trying and you don't give up, because this is worth it in the end, okay? So I'm going to be just putting and dabbing in the black and the red together all throughout this design in places. that and like this and then just kind of give some of it some extra je ne sais quoi <laughs> okay <laughs> then when it's dry you're gonna want to mix the red here let me get in here okay I'm mixing the red with a little bit of the neon red and that's gonna lighten it up and make it also like bright so that's, that turns it right here. This is a neon red, this is a regular red. Can you guys see? Yeah, I hope so. It's very difficult to film neon red, so I don't know if you're gonna see the same colors as me, but um, I'm going to um, add that red with a little bit of white. Come on, Rob. And then put the other petals in this way so that you can see some of the colors are gonna be out, facing outward. That might not be a good representation of what I'm trying to do. That, there. See, cause I want them to look like, like beautiful. So, so do you see how, see how they're like wispy and they're floral but without being like absolute flowers. This doesn't follow any of the suit of me doing my five or four or three prong flowers that you see me do. Now with the orange and the white, I'm going to make a peach. And I've heard that it's called millennial pink. <laughs> I love that because it is true. You guys gave us, the, uh, the for the millennials out there, you guys gave us the coolest pink ever. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you guys have to Google it. It's like, it's like a soft nude pink color. And I'm just gonna throw throw the color in around like that, just to give it that romantic look. Now that's set across with the um, with the different stages of um, this hatching, the herringbone. It, it gives like like all this texture to the design. So I'm gonna finish that. 
but before I do, let me go in the center of this flower right quick. Thank you. And just put in some black. Everywhere that you put in the black into the flower, be very careful not to put too much. I'm just going to put it right into the center to give it dimension. When I'm done, I will meet you back, but that is what I'm going to do to all of the nails in the middle of the greens. Boop. Okay, so I had made a color earlier, and now I, I put it in the... I'm going to add this to the video at the end, I think. But anyways, here it is. It's mixed up. I'm going to put this through the tweed. Okay, because there are some tweeds out there that when you look at them in the light, they have different colors interwoven into it, and it inspired me to make a glitter, and that's why I put the black and red and teal, and I have a picture of it, but you guys can look up uh, houndstooth or tweed and look at all the different ones, and you'll see that there are some with colors in them, and that's what I'm doing here. So I have the glitter on there, and then I'm going to top coat with a matte top coat so that all the colors kind of sparkle, but then they're matte. Meet you back. Okay, so here is the end result for the tweed with the, the antique flowers. So this is going to be perfect for fall or for um, winter. And if you are picking up like anything tweed, pay attention to how it looks and create it. Carl. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys learned a lot and you like these. These are really fun to paint. I, I, we had a fun time painting them. We just talked the whole time and painted. And I just kept on adding colors. I added a little bit of purple there. Juicy wanted a little bit of darker purple to tone it down. And I did that. Then I put it the glitter and then the, the matte top coat by uh, Dazzle Dry, I think. And um, anyways, please hashtag me, inspired by Robin Moses, if you try them. Or if you see them... Um, being tried, please make sure that other artists are shouting out our, our work so that we can grow as a community and we can have this for ourselves because this inspires people to try and to have a career without all of the expensive equipment to start out with. And so this is a good tool if you are starting out. Let me uh, get a black background too. So you guys can see it. That red is kind of glary. So let me put that there. There we go. So there it is. So you see how just changing that, that makes a big difference. So anyways, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, or I try to. Please subscribe to my channel. Pass it to another artist if you see this and you want and you know somebody that would love to paint it or try or if you want it, give it to your manicurist. <laughs> I'll see you back with more. Everybody have a great night. Bye. Bye.